so let's talk a little bit about PT Tiger 2020. So as all of us uh, as all of us know, it has been cancelled. Right? Unfortunately, it has been cancelled because uh, as a teacher, all right, and uh, having to know many students, I would actually having to sit through PT Tiger myself. I would. Uh, really believe that the PTT girl would actually be a benefit for most of the students because they would have time until October to cover the syllabus. But now, because of this COVID-19 situation, it is uh, unfortunate that they would have to resort to alternative assessment, which has to be uh, pentaxeran, such as your PBS, which has been introduced many years before. And uh, if you have experienced PBS, you would know that you would undergo many frequent tests. Okay, sekejap sekejap, cikgu bagi ujian, sekejap sekejap, cikgu bagi ujian. Lepas tu, dia akan tambah tipenya uh, makah, ataupun tambah tipenya band. Lepas tu, you akan ada satu grade. Okay, satu grade. Dekat hujung tahun, grade itu nanti akan guna untuk uh, meletakkan okay, adik-adik ke dalam kelas yang tertentu semasa tingkatan 4 that will be the grade in which you will be placed alright in your in your uh, form 4 so depending on how you how well you do in these uh, tests okay, I mean the pentaksiran uh, uh, in the school that will be the classes that you will be going into so if you are a frequent uh, person who does uh, studying last minute uh, If you procrastinate last minute Kalau adik-adik uh, setiasa nak belajar last minute Okay, besok ujian Malam ni baru nak start chapter 1 Then, very sorry This pentaksiran actually will be a very big trouble for you Because this pentaksiran is not going to be easy Dia will be a very simple Okay, bukan pentaksiran yang singkat Sebab pentaksiran ini dia akan Okay, dikawal Okay, oleh this uh, your uh, your PPD or even your school, so they will make sure that it will fit into your syllabus. Ah, uh, dan ia akan okay uh, merangkumi kriteria. Okay, pelajar yang mesti menguasai syllabus tingkatan dua, tingkatan tiga, tingkatan satu baru boleh melepasi. Okay, tahap PT tiga ni lepas ke tingkatan empat. So you don't think it is a walk in the park. They will try to make it as similar as PD3 as possible. So, to me, this pentaksiran is not a good thing for majority of students because now you have to always, alright, get yourself ready, get yourself prepared, sentiasa, okay, berada dalam situasi uh, nak, nak uh, depan ni ujian because every week and every day, it will be like tomorrow is PD3 for you. It will be like tomorrow is PD3 if this pentaksiran actually happens. So, Yes, no way for you to escape. You have to do the pentaksiran in school. Or, kalau adik-adik berhasrat nak pergi ke sekolah asrama. If you are aspiring to go to MRSM, going to SDP, you, kamu tak boleh lari dari PT3 juga. You will undergo a special test. Our Menteri Pendidikan has just announced that we will have a special test untuk murid-murid yang akan pergi ke sekolah berasrama sebab masuk ke, sebab kemasukan ke sekolah itu satu uh, isu okay, yang berbeza daripada uh, uh, itu uh, peletakan kelas dalam sekolah. So, we are going to have a different test for these people. So, if you are wanting to go to uh, this uh, sekolah berasrama, please seize the opportunity and study while you have time. And now, it is the best, the golden time for you to do so. 